FileMaker Android Tracking is a continuous background GPS tracking application for your phone that posts locations to your own server. The tracking will continue when your phone restarts and offline locations will be cached to resend when your phone becomes back online with network connectivity again. Essentially, the only way to stop tracking is to turn off your phone, but the tracking will continue as soon as the phone turns on again. To stop tracking altogether, uninstall the application from your phone. In this video, I'll run through the setup process. Uh, so there are, down in the description of the store entry, are the, are the setup steps, and there are three steps. The first step is to ensure that PHP Publishing is turned on in your FileMaker server. So over in your server console here, you'll want to scroll down to uh, your web publishing here and click on that. Then click on the PHP tab and ensure that PHP Publishing is turned on. If it's not turned on, you can go to the up here to server and where it says edit deployment and run through the deployment assistant to turn your PHP publishing back on. If you want your transmissions to be encrypted, then go over to the security tab here and install an SSL certificate. Uh, I can assist you with uh, SSL certificate installations. Uh, should you choose, contact me at schwartzsoftware.com.au. To test your PHP deployment is working fine, you can go to your FileMaker server technology tests uh, on your admin console. So open up your admin console, scroll down to technology tests, click on test PHP custom web publishing, and you should see this page. If this page shows, then your PHP publishing is working. Uh, the final thing that you want to test is that your PHP is that your FileMaker server is accessible from the internet, and to do that, make sure that port 80 and port 443 are port forwarding to your FileMaker server. Uh, the second step is to download the GPS location receiver file, because this is a file that the application will post the GPS points into. So you copy, copy this URL, paste this URL up into your bar, and once you uh, go to that URL, then you will download the GPS receiver file. And this is, this is what the GPS receiver file will receive. I'll go into this in more detail, but you'll receive all of the GPS points along with speed, heading, accuracy, uh, UTC time and local time of the phone, and battery level. And the final step is to install the application to the phone and follow the instructions. And I'll go through that now. So here's a screencast of my phone. And, and there are instructions here, enter the URL of your server. If you have SSL on, then enter HTTPS. If you don't have SSL on, then enter HTTP. So, uh, and also, in, um, you'll want to put in the tracking interval in seconds. And I recommend 300 seconds for a five minute interval because that gives minimal impact on battery life and still provides a, a fairly good resolution but put in the time uh, that suits your requirements so i'll enter a server url now and i'll just pause the video to keep my uh for privacy okay so i've entered my server url but i've entered it incorrectly and i'll show you what happens when you enter an incorrect url so i'll press the start tracking button now and a notification comes up saying testing filemaker server connectivity and there it says FileMaker Server Unreachable. Re-enter the address. Now I've entered the correct address and I'll press the Start Tracking button and show you what that looks like. So you'll see the FileMaker Server Test notification again. And then you'll see a successful uh, notification. And the writing up here will change and the settings will go away. So now the application says Tracking Active. Uninstall and reinstall the app to change server and tracking interval settings. And that is the only way to change your server and interval settings. And this notification will only display once. As soon as I leave the app and then come back to the app, that will simply say Tracking Active. And that's so that your field staff don't see the uninstall and reinstall application. Your field staff or whoever is using the phone will always know that the tracking is active. If I slide down the notification bar, you see here that there's a permanent notification that says FM Android GPS tracking is active with the tracking symbol. And also up here in the notification section, there is a continuous uh, tracking symbol up the top as well. So now I'll show you what the data looks like on the server. So here's the file that you will, that you will have. The next time that you open the file after you've enabled the tracking on the phone, then you will be able to 
click on this uh, drop down and you'll see the device show up in the list and then you can put in a description uh, your own description of the device name there uh, click on go to tracks and you'll see the tracks and here you have the latitude longitude the ID of the phone the battery level the date and the time of the phone so that's local to where the phone is and then you also have the UTC time so that you can calculate uh, global times uh, or times in different time zones the speed is here which is in meters per second and you also have the heading and the radial accuracy in meters of the location uh, there's also a button here that you can click on to view the GPS location point on a map and you click on that and it opens up a GPS map uh, with a pin So here's that GPS map of that location. Um, there is a Android tracks for PHP layout, and this says this layout is used to post information via PHP, and this must not have its fields or editability removed. So if this layout is changed, uh, if this has its fields removed, then the GPS tracking will no longer work. Uh, there's also in the security settings, so the password is GPS uh, by default, there's an admin account, GPS, GPS. Uh, in the security settings, this PHP privilege set, which only has the ability to post information on that layout, also needs to remain active. Uh, the GPS access uh, account, which, uh, which has the full administration access, that can be changed and that um, you can change that to whatever you would like to ensure that nobody else can have access to your file. Once again, this PHP privilege, which cannot be changed, uh, only has um, the ability to post into the database, but won't have the ability to read. So your uh, privacy of your locations are sure. Uh, so that's the application and that's how it works. You can connect your own FileMake file to this location, to, to this file, or you can edit this file as you want to, um, uh, so that you can do whatever you want with your GPS locations. If you need any assistance setting up the application, your server, or even in creating your own cap custom application, then I'm a FileMaker uh, developer and part of the FileMaker Business Alliance, and I can set up your server or customize your application for you. If you would like your own custom application in the Android store, then I can create your own custom application as well and also customize that application to have different features for your own needs. Okay, that's the application. If you have any questions or you'd like to contact me, then contact me at schwartzsoftware.com.au. Thank you.